Psychoanalytic Theory Freud's psychoanalytic theory suggests that personality is shaped by unconscious drives and childhood experiences. It posits that the mind consists of three parts, the id, ego, and superego, and personality development is influenced by the resolution of conflicts between these components, particularly during psychosexual stages. Neo-Freudian Psychodynamic Theories These theories expand on Freud's work, emphasizing the role of social and cultural factors alongside unconscious processes in shaping personality. Carl Jung introduced the concept of the collective unconscious and archetypes, while Alfred Adler focused on the desire for superiority. Karen Horney emphasized the impact of societal influences on personality development, challenging Floyd's emphasis on biological instincts. Trait Theory Trait theory proposes that personality consists of enduring traits or characteristics that influence behavior. Gordon Allport identified three levels of traits. Raymond Cattell proposed 16 primary source traits, and Hans Eysenck focused on biological dimensions of personality. Trait theorists seek to categorize and describe personality based on observable behaviors and internal dispositions. Behavioral theory. Behavioral theory suggests that personality is shaped by environmental influences and learned behaviors. B.F. Skinner introduced operant conditioning, emphasizing the role of reinforcement and punishment in behavior, while John B. Watson focused on classical conditioning, demonstrating how associations between stimuli and responses influence personality development. Behavioral theorists prioritize observable actions over internal processes in understanding personality. Humanistic theory Humanistic theory emphasizes individuals' inherent drive for self-actualization and personal growth. Carl Rogers proposed the importance of congruence between the real self and the ideal self, while Abraham Maslow introduced a hierarchy of needs, suggesting that individuals strive for self-fulfillment once basic needs are met. Social Cognitive Theory Social cognitive theory integrates cognitive and behavioral approaches, emphasizing the reciprocal interaction between individuals, their behaviors, and their environments. Albert Bandura introduced concepts like observational learning and self-efficacy, suggesting that personality develops through social learning experiences and the beliefs individuals hold about their ability to succeed. Cognitive theory Cognitive theory posits that personality is shaped by individuals' thoughts, perceptions, and interpretations of their experiences. Aaron Beck's cognitive therapy focuses on identifying and challenging negative thought patterns, while George Kelly's personal construct theory emphasizes individuals' unique ways of understanding and organizing their worlds. Biological theory Biological theory suggests that genetic, neurological, and physiological factors influence personality development. Hans Eysenck proposed that personality traits have a biological basis, while Jeffrey Allen Gray focused on the role of brain systems, particularly the behavioral inhibition and activation systems, in personality traits like introversion, extroversion, and neuroticism. Evolutionary theory Evolutionary theory suggests that human personality traits have evolved through natural selection to solve adaptive problems in ancestral environments. David Buss studied mate selection and reproductive strategies, while Lita Cosmides and John Tooby focused on the evolution of cognitive mechanisms underlying social behavior, such as cheater detection and cooperation. Culture and Personality Theory Culture and personality theory explores how culture norms, values, and practices shape individuals' thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Gerd Hofstede identified cultural dimensions influencing behavior, such as individualism, collectivism, and power distance, while Harry Triandes emphasized the role of cultural syndromes in shaping personality across different cultures. Existential Theory Existential theory focuses on the individual's search for meaning and purpose in life, particularly in the face of existential challenges such as death, freedom, isolation, and meaninglessness. Rollo May emphasized the importance of authentic living and confronting existential anxieties, while Viktor Frankl developed logotheory, which emphasizes finding meaning through work, love, and suffering. Positive Psychology Positive psychology is concerned with understanding and promoting human strengths and well-being. 
Martin Seligman proposed the PERMA model, which identifies five key elements of well-being, positive emotions, engagement, relationships, meaning, and accomplishment. Positive psychology aims to cultivate resilience, optimism, and flourishing in individuals and communities. Interactionist Perspective The interactionist perspective integrates biological, psychological, and environmental factors in shaping personality and behavior. It emphasizes the dynamic interplay between individual characteristics and situational influences. Interactionists study how individuals' traits interact with their environments to produce behavior, recognizing the bidirectional relationships between individuals and their social contexts. Development Theory Development theory, as proposed by Eric Erickson, outlines a series of psychosocial stages that individuals go through across the lifespan. Each stage represents a unique developmental task or crisis that must be resolved for healthy personality development. Erickson emphasized the importance of social relationships and cultural influences in shaping identity and personality. Self-psychology Self-psychology focuses on the development of the self and its relationship with others. Heinz Kohut emphasized the role of early relationships, particularly with caregivers, in shaping self-esteem and emotional well-being. Kohut proposed that individuals have basic narcissistic needs for validation and mirroring from others, and disruptions in these needs can lead to psychological difficulties. Systems Theory Systems theory examines individuals within the context of larger systems, such as families, organizations, or communities. Kurt Lewin emphasized the dynamic interrelations between individuals and their environments, suggesting that behavior is influenced by complex interactions within these systems. Archetypal psychology. Archetypal psychology explores the symbolic and mythological dimensions of the psyche. James Hillman proposed that universal archetypes inherited from the collective unconscious shape human experiences and behaviors. He emphasized the importance of metaphor and narrative in understanding the depths of the human psyche. Ecological Systems Theory Ecological Systems Theory focuses on the multiple environmental contexts that influence individual development. Yuri Bronfenbrenner identified microsystems, immediate environments, mesosystems, interactions between microsystems, exosystems, external environments, and macrosystems, cultural influences, as key factors shaping personality and behavior. Social learning theory. Social learning theory suggests that behavior is learned through observation, imitation, and reinforcement. Julian Rotter proposed the concept of locus of control, suggesting that individuals' beliefs about the extent to which they can control their own outcomes influence their behavior and personality development. Attachment theory. Attachment theory examines the bonds formed between infants and their caregivers and their impact on later development. John Bowlby emphasized the importance of secure attachment in providing a foundation for healthy relationships and emotional regulation. Mary Ainsworth further categorized attachment styles, such as secure, anxious avoidant, and anxious ambivalent based on infants' responses to separation and reunion with their caregivers. Narrative Psychology Narrative psychology focuses on the stories individuals construct to make sense of their lives and identities. Dan McAdams proposed that life stories serve as a framework for understanding oneself, organizing experiences into a coherent narrative, and shaping one's sense of self and identity over time. Social Identity Theory Social Identity Theory explores how individuals' self-concept and behavior are influenced by their membership in social groups. Henry Tajfel and John Turner propose that people categorize themselves and others into social groups, leading to in-group favoritism and out-group prejudice. Social identity theory emphasizes the importance of social context in shaping identity and behavior. Transactional analysis. Transactional analysis examines interpersonal interactions and communication patterns. Eric Byrne proposed that individuals engage in transactions or social exchanges characterized by different ego states, parent, adult, and child. Transactional analysis aims to improve communication and relationships by identifying and altering dysfunctional patterns of interaction. 
person-situation interaction. Person-situation interaction theory suggests that behavior is influenced by both individual dispositions and situational factors. Walter Mischel emphasized the importance of considering the interaction between personality traits and situational variables in predicting behavior, challenging the notion of consistent cross-situational behavior. Cultural Historical Theory Cultural historical theory examines how culture and societal context shape cognitive development and personality. Lev Vygotsky proposed that individuals learn and develop within the cultural context through social interactions and language. Cultural historical theory emphasizes the role of cultural tools and societal influences in shaping personality and cognitive processes. Schema Theory Schema theory proposes that individuals organize and interpret information based on pre-existing mental framework or schemas. These schemas influence perception, memory, and behavior by guiding how individuals encode, process, and retrieve information. Temperament theory. Temperament theory suggests that individuals have innate, biologically-based behavioral tendencies that influence their emotional responses and personality traits from infancy. Alexander Thomas and Stella Chess identified nine temperamental traits, including activity level, rhythmicity, adaptability, and intensity, which contribute to individual differences in behavior and development. Narrative Identity Theory Narrative identity theory posits that individuals construct and maintain their identities through autobiographical storytelling. Dan McAdams proposed that life stories serve as a means of self-understanding, integrating past experiences, present circumstances, and future goals into a coherent narrative that shapes one's sense of self. Psychobiography Psychobiography applies psychological principles and methods to analyze the lives of historical figures or public figures, aiming to understand their personalities, motivations, and behaviors. Psychobiological studies often draw on various psychological theories and methodologies to explore the complex interplay of individual traits, environmental influences, and historical context in shaping an individual's life. Self-Determination Theory Self-Determination Theory posits that individuals have innate psychological needs for autonomy, competence, and relatedness, which are essential for intrinsic motivation and well-being. Edward Desi and Richard Ryan propose that fulfilling these needs promotes optimal functioning and personal growth, leading to greater psychological health and fulfillment. Phenomenological Theory Phenomenological theory emphasizes individuals' subjective experiences and perceptions as central to understanding personality and behavior. Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow emphasize the importance of self-awareness, personal growth, and subjective well-being in humanistic psychology, advocating for an empathic and non-judgmental approach to understanding human experiences. Regulatory Focus Theory Regulatory Focus Theory posits that individuals have two motivational systems, promotion and prevention, that guide goal pursuit and decision-making. E. Tory Higgins proposed that promotion-focused individuals are motivated by hopes, aspirations, and growth-oriented goals, while prevention-focused individuals are motivated by responsibilities, duties, and avoiding negative outcomes. Moral Development Theory Moral Development Theory outlines stages of moral reasoning and ethical decision-making across the lifespan. Lawrence Kohlberg proposed six sequential stages of moral development, grouped into three levels, pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional, which reflect increasingly complex and abstract moral reasoning based on principles of justice, rights, and universal ethical principles. Systems Theory Systems theory views individuals as part of larger, interconnected systems, emphasizing the dynamic interactions between individuals and their environments. Ludwig von Bertalanffy proposed that systems have common principles of organization and behavior, which apply across various levels of complexity from biological organisms to social systems. Interactionist Perspective The interactionist perspective integrates individual dispositions and situational factors in explaining behavior and personality. 
B.F. Skinner proposed that behavior results from the interaction between environmental stimuli and individual responses, highlighting the bidirectional influence of personal characteristics and environmental contexts on behavior. Personal Construct Theory Personal construct theory suggests that individuals interpret and understand their experiences through subjective mental constructs or categories. George Kelly proposed that individuals develop personal constructs to organize their perceptions and make sense of the world, influencing their behaviors and interpersonal relationships. Cultural Syndromes Cultural syndromes refer to shared beliefs, values, and practices within a cultural group that shape individuals' perceptions, emotions, and behaviors. Richard Schwader proposed that cultural syndromes reflect cultural norms and worldviews, influencing various aspects of personality, social interactions, and psychological well-being. Schema Focus Therapy Schema Focus Therapy is an integrative approach to treating personality disorders and chronic psychological problems by identifying and modifying maladaptive schemas or core beliefs. Jeffrey Young developed techniques to help individuals recognize and challenge negative schemas, replacing them with healthier, more adaptive beliefs and coping strategies. Flow Theory Flow theory explores optimal human experiences categorized by deep engagement, focused attention, and a sense of effortless mastery. Mihai Csikszentmihalyi proposed that flow states occur when individuals are fully absorbed in challenging activities that match their skills, leading to heightened enjoyment, creativity, and intrinsic motivation. Integral Theory Integral theory offers a comprehensive framework for understanding human experiences, consciousness, and development by integrating multiple perspectives from various disciplines, including psychology, philosophy, spirituality, and science. Ken Wilber proposed a model that considers individual, interpersonal, cultural, and spiritual dimensions of human existence, aiming to create a more holistic understanding of human nature and potential.